Hello, it's Ashley here again from Paper and Twine. I've had a little tidy up today and I just wanted to show you some work in progress as best I can because I still don't have the professional equipment that lots of YouTubers have. I've been working on a couple of backgrounds over the last couple of days so just um, ignore the camera shake but I want to show you these. I'm not very good at this am I? So uh, this is one of my favourite backgrounds. This is a product called Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder and it is a very fine pigmented watercolour powder, a little bit like Brusho, but it has really nice little bits of shimmer in it because I think they put mica in it. Uh, there are three colours here. Um, I have got uh, Midnight Blue, I think it's Turquoise at the top and uh, Mango Blaze at the bottom and you can see there are some different colours in there. And this is done on watercolour paper, just from the works, just um, regular watercolour paper. Um, and this is a little bit of Midnight Blue and um, Teal Wash, I think it is. I'm trying to create some um, sea scapes, if you like. The other thing I've been having a little experiment with this morning is brushos. I've had my brushos for quite some time and I don't tend to use them very much because I'm not a fan necessarily of the effect that they create. If I show you this one here, I think that this is actually lime green. And you can see the range of colours that comes out in it. There's some yellows in there, um, some blues. I'm hoping that's a lime green. This one I think is quite interesting. I'll show you this. This is black. This one here I didn't apply, this one here I didn't apply so much water to. Um, and again, you can see the whole range of colours in there. There's a little tiny spot of um, bright green in there. It could be contamination from another powder. You have to be very careful with these. And uh, this is the same colour, but uh, more water spritzed onto the paper. These need a really good flattening before I use them for anything. This is one of my favourite colours in the Brusho palette, and it is Ultramarine. And again, you can see the depth of colour in there, there's little bits of purple coming through. And I quite like this one. Again, it needs a really good flatten. This is, uh, I think it's called Bright Red uh, or Vivid Scarlet or something, I can't remember. But I uh, quite like some of the effects that are created there. I've been watching some YouTube videos this morning and um, I'd like to thank Deborah Orm. Uh, Deborah Osmond, I watched her um, tutorial on uh, using spray starch with brushes and this isn't ready yet. What I've done is I've put two colours, um, lime green and uh, turquoise. I put it onto the dry watercolour paper and then sprayed with just a regular spray starch um, from Dylon, I think mine was. And then I've just put some cling film over the top. Oh, before I put the cling film on, I sprinkled some really ultra fine glitter. Um, and I've put cling film on the top and creased it to make lines. I'll come back later and show you what that looks like once it's completely dry. And then again, this is just a smaller piece on watercolour paper. Um, Deborah actually applied some gesso to mixed media paper um, and then a stencil. And oh, no, she used a little um, tube from an empty tape roll to add some texture. Um, but I don't have one of those available, so I haven't I haven't gessoed this piece. And again, this is turquoise and lime green, and I really like how those colours have run together. But again, when this is dry, I'll show you what's what. So in my craft room, I like to keep things close to hand. As I said yesterday, I don't have much space to work, so um, I've got my pixie powders on the windowsill there, my acrylic blocks which I use for stamping and for creating watercolour backgrounds. When I'm able to show things properly um, I'll show you how I do that. This is just an Ikea box that I've decorated with some graphic 45 paper, uh, Rare Oddity, it's one of my favourite papers of theirs. Then this is my magic box here, uh, it's got all my um, regular tools, um, scissors, brushes, palette knives, um, speciality pens etc and some glues. Um, I'm really big into oxide inks at the moment and I'm lucky enough to have the full range of colours so they're hiding there. At the moment I'm right in the middle of creating some products to sell at a craft fair in March. I'm making little tea caddy holders so I've pre-cut all of my card, scored it and I'm just scoring the side panels with my Ultimate Pro. Um, when those are finished I'll show you those. 
I've got my cutting uh, cutting mat here, which is just a self-healing cutting mat. And on top of it, when I'm stamping, I've got green paper. Um, I just use that just to uh, not make any mess. My cutter down here. <laughs> It's really bad quality, I know, down here. I can't bear to throw anything away, so I keep all my scraps. And I have made a vow to myself today that I am going to make cards with just card blanks and scraps so that I can get rid of some of these, or certainly paper projects with some of these. So that's just a really, really brief tour of my working space. I'll come back later and show you some of these projects when they're finished. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Bye.